Hello and welcome to this week's gaming news. Respawn Entertainment is introducing a new in-game currency for Titanfall with this upcoming fifth patch. Wait a minute, isn't EA the publisher? There will be battle packs in Battlefield 4, they said. We will never charge you any money for those packs, they said. But don't worry, game designer David Shaver promises it will not introduce cash microtransactions into the game. The black market is a place you can sell unwanted burn cards and purchase themed packs of new ones. Credits are earned by completing and winning matches, getting your first victory of the day, completing daily challenges and of course by selling off your unwanted cards. You can also purchase new Titan insignias in the shop. The black market becomes available at level 11 and won't disappear when you regenerate. At level 50, you will receive credits amounting to a percentage of the experience points you earned during the match. Movies based on a video game usually suck, but that's not preventing Hollywood from shoving more and more of those down our throat. Now the PlayStation exclusive Uncharted series could suffer the same destiny. Sony has moved around some dates in its movie schedule, making room for Nathan Drake's big screen debut. Sony announced this week that it will be releasing the film adaptation of Naughty Dog's action series on June 10th. 2016. That date originally belonged to the third installment of The Amazing Spider-Man, which Sony has now bumped back by two years. Uncharted director Thess Gordon plans to start shooting in early 2015, though there's no lead attached to the film yet since the desired Marky Mark Warburg wasn't available. The screenplay is currently being written by David Guggenheim. According to the director, the film has scenes all over the world and comes off very international, just like a James Bond movie. Well, it seems like we just have to wait and see. Just like Battlefield fans, since the release of Battlefield Hardline was postponed to the beginning of 2015. The creators must have understood that by doing this, many players would be upset, because it released a statement explaining why the delay was happening. At E3, the better for the game received a lot of comments from players and the team really took the comments to heart according to Battlefield Blog. This feedback also spurred us to start thinking about other possibilities and ways we could push Hardline innovation further and make the game even better, the post said. However, there was only one problem. We would need more time. Time that we didn't have if we decided to move forward with launching in just a couple of months. The post also explains the kinds of things players can expect from Hardline, such as improving multiplayer experience and making the launch more stable. Kudos on that decision. So some people do learn from mistakes. Good to know. Kudos as well to Sony as they released a commercial for their PS Vita, which, well, see for yourself. As part of a PS Vita summer campaign, Sony released a new Japanese ad on YouTube that can be described as ballsy. Others might say that this is just a cheap penis joke. In the spot, school kids are getting changed for their summer swimming lessons, and after one kid drops his towel, another kid's jaw drops, and he says, He's an adult. That's followed by the announcer saying, for you who aren't great schoolers anymore. Sony apparently wants to market their handheld for a much more grown-up audience than before. Well, like Confucius says, if you can't think of anything smart, you can always rely on the good old penis joke. Those were the gaming news for this week. If you like what you saw, please leave a like and comment down below to let me know. Thanks for tuning in and check in next Sunday for a new episode. Good game und auf Wiedersehen! Immer auf Wiedersehen!